Hold on, what's no White's age? How old is the prince then? Yo! Yo, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Yo, we discovering a lot of crazy shit right now, bro. Yo, Yo. What's good, YouTube? Today we're gonna be looking at the real stories of Disney movies. I'm not gonna lie, I always thought they were happy and stuff. I, I guess they not. Join us on Twitch. We're live every day without further ado. Let's get started. The Disney company is huge and their films are loved by billions of people around the world. Yeah? But you may not know that some of their most famous titles have been based on real events and unusual stories. Well, here are five Disney films that may surprise you with their origins. Some what happened? of which would not have made for appropriate children's movies if they hadn't have been changed. Okay, what they do though? Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. It was a huge hit and was the first of now many princesses for Disney. I'm gonna tell y'all the finest Disney princess right now is... How old is Jasmine? No, 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 I, I, I didn't compliment her. Yo, FBI, nigga, relax. Obviously, the, the finest one is Tiana. You're all familiar with the story. It's about Snow White living with her jealous stepmother who orders her huntsman to kill the princess. But unable to face killing Snow White, he lets her free in the forest where she lives with the seven dwarfs. When the evil queen finds out that Snow White is still alive, she possesses an old hag to give Snow White a poisoned apple. When she takes a bite, she is thought to have died and lays motionless until a prince. No, now that I think about it, your chat is this not weird to y'all? The fact that this man just kissed a girl that's not down, dude. I'm calling the police on you. This is literally Bill Cosby in the flesh. I don't even gotta know the real story behind this shit. The fact that he kissed an, an unconscious woman. Prince finds her and kisses her. They true love though, okay? What if Bill Cosby said, "Hey man, those were my true loves." What if R. Kelly said, "She was my true love." There's still boundaries, dude. Bringing Snow White back to life, and they live happily ever after. It's a lovely story, but the original has an alternative, pretty gory ending. What happened? The original Snow White story was written by the Brothers Grimm in 1812 and was first published in German. Okay. It shares pretty much all the similarities to the Disney film, except for when Snow White is poisoned by the apple, the prince does not kiss her and bring her back to life. What do you do? He takes the casket she is lying in, trips over a branch in the forest, dropping Snow White and causing the poison apple to dislodge from her throat and she comes back to life. You see? So the origin story is actually normal. Yo, Disney, y'all some kicky ass niggas and the directors, y'all probably know Bill Cosby personally. Why is she making out with her if that never happened in the first place? Now, here's where it gets dark. They then arrange a huge wedding, inviting every king and queen in the land. The Wicked Queen accepts the invitation, not realizing it's her stepdaughter's wedding. And when she arrives, she's made to wear a pair of shoes that are glowing red hot. Unpopular opinion chat, tell me if y'all agree with me. She's better than Snow White. Wait, can I even say that? Hold on, what's Snow White's age? I'm talking from a childhood perspective. I'm trying, no! I'm gonna just stop making comments, bruh. Forced to dance until she drops dead. This was her punishment for trying to kill Snow White. It's pretty just How old is the prince then? Yo! Nigga, this is pedophilia! Yo, I'm not gonna lie, bruh. I'm telling y'all, bruh, no, we discovering a lot of crazy shit right now, bruh. Disturbing, since it's supposed to be a children's story, and you can see why they didn't include that part in the film. That, those are what, some Jordan ones? <laughs> She'll be alright. Pocahontas. This Disney film was perhaps one of the most controversial of the Disney princess films, mainly because it was based on a true story, but was changed so much that many believe it took historical liberties with its portrayal of Pocahontas straying too far from the facts to make it into a children's film. In the film, Pocahontas is a young American Indian woman whose father is a powerful Indian chief. He wants her to marry a native warrior, but she falls for a British captain and her father disapproves. Things are made worse when the British captain's- Yeah, his name is James, right? James better be the, the most gorgeous nigga alive. Hell no. Y'all made him look like a dream face reveal. That nigga do not look nothing like him, bruh. Fellow Englishmen try to rob the native Americans of their gold. Okay. But this is very different to the true story of Pocahontas, the daughter of a poet and chief. What happened to her? She was born in around 1595 and her birth name was Matoaka. Oh damn nigga bruh! So she was alive when George Washington was alive? Pocahontas later came as a nickname given to her which means spoiled or naughty child. Pocahontas was part of a tribe located in Tidewater, Virginia. And okay. her childhood would have seen the English arriving in search of the new world. Okay. Which resulted in many clashes between the English and the native Indians. Okay. During this time, Captain Smith, an English soldier and explorer, was captured by Pocahontas' tribe and faced execution. This was when the then 10-year-old Matoaka threw herself at Captain Smith to stop him being executed. Now, it's unlikely there was any romance between the two like in the film, 
but young Matooka was later captured by English settlers. Okay. And this is when she met tobacco planter John Roll. So that used to be the, the shit back then? Get tobacco and shit? I'm not gonna like, can I even blame people nowadays for vaping? It used to be way worse. In order to secure her release, she agreed to marry him and was renamed Rebecca. And how old is she as a 10 year old? That's elementary schooler. She was learning Native American ABCs and her ass got with this old ass nigga. This was also the first recorded marriage in history between a European man and a Native American woman. After two years of marriage, John Rolfe and Matoka went to England where Rolf used his wife as a symbol of peace and goodwill between the English and Native Americans. Okay. It's thought that whilst in England, Matoka ran into John Smith, the captain she saved from being executed. And what happened? But she refused to speak and turned her back on him. Unfortunately for Pocahontas, whilst returning by ship back to Virginia, she became ill and was taken off the ship at Gravesend, England, where she sadly died at the age of 21. God, but then again, wasn't everyone's like age span short? Now, I'm not gonna lie, that gotta be an ass life though. Really think about it, 10 years old? Oh, y'all niggas doing in 10 years old and watching PBS kids turning on Elmo, Arthur, and her ass gotta go with 50 year old niggas with STDs that don't know, don't even know it yet. There was a lot of suspicion that her death was caused by poisoning, but this has never been confirmed. It's just crazy to think that when watching the film that it's loosely based on real historical events. In the 2010 Disney film Tang- This is a real movie? Wait, this actually happened? No, no yo, you dumbass nigga. Not all of them happened. This is just- I'm not that stupid. I graduated with a 4.0, okay? A story is told about a baby princess named Rapunzel who has magical healing powers. Okay. She is stolen from her crib by Mother Gothel and taken to a hidden tower where her golden magical hair grows incredibly long. Okay. As she gets older, Rapunzel becomes curious about the outside world, especially the bright lights she sees. How old is Rapunzel? What's good? You gonna let down your hair for me type shit? Wait, so her hair got magical powers, right? It could do whatever, right? So she could like stroke my meat with her hair? It's every year floating in the sky beyond her tower prison and she plots with a local thief to escape the tower and go on an adventure, discovering that the lights in the sky are lanterns that her parents release every year on Rapunzel's birthday. She then falls in love with the thief after bringing him back to life with her powers, and they eventually marry and live happily ever after. She cut her hair? That is the film version of the original, which is called Rapunzel. Rapun Ugh, real Rapunzel kind of chop. Why her ass look like that one girl off of Good Luck Charlie? She got a flat screen forehead. Damn, nigga. Wait, are y'all sure she's not East African? Rapunzel starts with a lonely couple who live next to an evil witch named Dame Gothel. The neighbor who is pregnant sees a Rapunzel plant in the witch's garden and asks her husband to steal it for her to eat. She enjoys it so much that she asks him to steal some more, but this time he's caught by Dame Gothel. He begs for his life and they- That's the real Flynn Rider? And why her ass like Zlatan Ibrahimovic? Dude, his ass chopped this shit! Rapunzel was good! Evil Witch agrees to let him go, on the condition that he hands over their baby as soon as it's born. The witch takes the newborn baby, calls her Rapunzel, and raises her as her own. Okay. Rapunzel grows up to have long golden hair, and when she reaches the age of 12, Dame Gothel locks her in a secret tower. Rapunzel's hair grows so long that when the witch visits her, she shouts up for her to let her hair down. Rapunzel would then drop her hair down from the tower and let Dame Gothel climb up to her room. Okay. Then one day, a prince hears Rapunzel singing in her tower, and they eventually meet and fall in love. Okay. They both plan her escape so that they can marry, but Dame Gothel notices something is not right, so she watches the tower and finds out about the prince's visits. In a rage, she cuts wait, off Rapunzel's wait. hair and slings her into the woods to fend for herself. Did he survive the fall damage? She then uses the cut hair to trick the prince into thinking he's climbing up to see Rapunzel. Damn. When he reaches the on his top. Imagine if Rapunzel let down her pubic hair, bro. That would low-key change the whole scope of the movie. I feel like it would be a 10 out of 10. You see, this is why I'm not a director and I'm a YouTuber. Um. Old Rapunzel is gone. He jumps from the tower in an attempt to kill himself. He survives, but thorns pierce his eyes, leaving him blind. For months, he wanders aimlessly in the forest until one one day he hears Rapunzel singing and is re Rapunzel out here liking blind niggas. Oh yeah, Rapunzel. Guess what, nigga? I don't, I don't, I don't really even like singing. Singing is overrated. They call me Helen Keller. Damn, that's kind of depressing. Okay, I can see why they don't show this to kids. United with her, and she restores his sight. As for Dame Gothel, in a fit of anger, she has dropped the length of hair and is forever trapped in the tower to die. So, although the original has a good storyline, it's far different from the movie version and wouldn't have really made for a good children's movie. Number two, what's number two? Considered by many to be the greatest Disney film ever made, the 1940 film Pinocchio is told through the eyes of Jiminy Cricket. What happened? He tells how woodcarver Geppetto makes a wooden puppet called Pinocchio and how he wishes it was a real boy. Then one night he sees a shooting star and the next morning Pinocchio has come to life. One day when walking to school, Pinocchio is persuaded to join a traveling show where he performs with other puppets. 
and when he tries to return home to Geppetto, he is locked up by the owner of the traveling show. He is rescued by a magical fairy, but okay. when he starts lying about what he's been up to, his, his nose, nose gets bigger. Grow. Damn. Eventually, would y'all have that ability, but for your meat instead? No, but then how is it ever gonna shrink? Wait, Pinocchio's nose shrinks when he tells the truth, right? All right, then I'm gonna lie real quick, and then I'm gonna tell a couple of truths, and boom. So as I'm hitting it, bop, bop, bop. The Pinocchio and Jiminy Cricket return home, but discover Geppetto has gone to sea in search of him and has been swallowed by a whale. Pinocchio sets out to free Geppetto from the whale's belly, but drowns trying to save him. Because Damn. he has proved himself to be good though, he is brought back to life by the fairy and his puppet strings are removed, finally mm. making him a real boy. Mm. The That's film is a classic, but the original Adventures of Pinocchio by Carlo Collodi, which the film is based on, tells a much darker story. What happens? It was originally published as a weekly series in a comic type newspaper for children. Carlo often describes Pinocchio as a wretched and thoroughly disobedient boy who laughs in the face and steals the wig of his creator and father, Geppetto. In these stories, Jimmy- Ugh, this nigga look ugly! Wait, hold on, this is how Pinocchio looks like? God damn, this nigga look like Andrew Tate! Jimmy Cricket is not the wise guide friend of Pinocchio, but the opposite. And when he tries to tell Pinocchio off for rebelling against his father, Pinocchio bashes the insect's head in with a hammer and kills him. I like that, I like the fact that you're getting your get back, but this hairline is getting back. Pinocchio is often starved, tortured, robbed, and kidnapped, and has his wooden legs burnt off. Nearly every chapter of the book indicates the author's contempt for badly behaved children, with Pinocchio being made an example of what happens to disobedient kids. Damn! Carlo did not want the story to have a happy ending at all, and wanted to end Pinocchio's life by hanging him. But publishers were horrified by this ending, and he was forced to bring Pinocchio back to life. Damn! This is when he introduces a child with blue hair, the character that becomes the magical fairy in the Disney film. That shit look like Cinderella, guy. Are y'all running out of character ideas? But even after being brought back, the writer continued to endure torture and abuse upon Pinocchio in the stories, which thankfully was never shown in the film. Wait, so his ass survived and he got he got tortured more? Yo, this nigga life is just depressing. Yo, all of these have just been depressing. Winnie La the Pooh is a lovable teddy bear who was created by English author A. A. Milne and adapted by Disney into a series of short features that included Winnie the Pooh's friends Piglet, Eeyore, Kanga, Rabbit, Roo, Tigger, Owl, and the only- Wait, what's his name? Tigger? I thought I heard the N-word, but hey, maybe I'm just a little slow today, but actually that would be fire, nigga. We all know he's black anyway. Human character, Christopher Robin. Winnie and his friends enjoy several adventures in the Hundred Acre Woods, but you may be surprised that some of them are actually based on true characters. In 1925, A.A. A. Milne based Winnie the Pooh on a soldier's bear who was sent to London Zoo when the soldier was shipped off to the front lines in France. Okay. Christopher Robin Milne, A.A. A. Milne's son, was a visitor to the zoo and loved the female bear. He named his teddy bear Winnie the Pooh, and this created the inspiration for his dad to create the yellow bear we all know of today. Okay. So Talk. Winnie the Pooh was based on the bear, and Christopher Robin was based on A.A. A. Milne's son, Christopher okay. Robin Milne. Okay. But behind the laughter and fun, Winnie the Pooh and his friends are thought to have a deeper meaning to their characters. Now, this was never confirmed by the creator, but is a widely believed theory by many, and when you hear it, it definitely makes you wonder. What happened? It's thought the characters all show traits of mental disorders, and here are the psychological profiles of them. All my Discord niggas should be happy. They finally made a, a movie for y'all niggas. Bunch of slow ass niggas. I'm glad y'all are finally getting the recognition y'all deserve. Winnie the Pooh is thought to suffer from a range of mental disorders. His careless and dreamy nature and disregard towards rules point to a form of inattentive attention defect hyperactivity So ADHD? Disorder. Also, his obsession with honey and willingness to risk everything to get it indicates to some Diabetes? he's suffering from impulsivity with obsessive fixations. Yo, they made a movie for fat niggas too, bro. I'm so- Yo, yo, that's inclusion right there, bro. Piglet is thought to suffer from generalized anxiety disorder. His general nervousness and low self-esteem contribute to his stuttering speech and the irrational anxiety he displays. Okay. The owl seems to be dyslexic as he spells things jumbled up and in the wrong way. Tigger is unable to control his constant bouncing and as- No, I'm not gonna lie, Tigger gotta be the weirdest one out of all of them if I can recall correctly. That man, I don't think he's slow or anything. I think he just, he's off the, the sugar booger. Extremely impulsive nature. Despite this, the others are drawn to him as he is very sociable but by association, they risk getting themselves in trouble due to his behaviors. Some say this is a classic sign of ADHD. Some say Kanga shows signs of social anxiety disorder. She is an overprotective, super organized mother and is obsessed with controlling little Rue, preventing him from making his own decisions. Kanga also tests with- 
Wait, how old is she? I could put something else in this goddamn pouch. When you want to talk to me, ma'am, you let me know, all right? With controlling little Rue, preventing him from making his own decisions, Kanga also tries to mother Tigger in much the same way, feeding him and looking after him, although she is unable to control him. The rabbit, who is over-organized and obsessed with having everything in the right place, has led people to believe that he is suffering from OCD. Eeyore, the downcast donkey who has a- I'm not- I couldn't stand this dude, bruh. His ass was just depressing- depressed 24-7, bruh. How do niggas like this character? Negative spin on everything seems incapable of getting any joy out of life and Damn. is definitely suffering from some kind of depression. Damn. And finally, Christopher Robin, with his wild imagination and stuffed toys as best friends, is thought to have created all the characters in his own head, and Yo. they represent all the feelings he is actually experiencing. Yo. Some believe Christopher is suffering from schizophrenia. Dude, you dissing your own son too? It was his way of saying, bruh, my son don't get no bitches, bruh, he got no play, he gets no friends, now his ass like is in love with a teddy bear at his grown ass age. Yo, that dad is savage, bruh. But this wouldn't be the first time something like this has happened in a children's movie. Alice in Wonderland has long been linked to a person experiencing a drug trip, with many thought to be drug references throughout. LSD? Although this, like Winnie the Pooh, has never been confirmed by the creator that this was their intentions. Damn. So maybe it's just people being silly and looking into things too much, or maybe it was A.A. A. Milne's intention to add more character to the stories. Who knows? Whatever you think, don't let any of this take away from these incredible Disney films. But yeah, this used to be peak, and now what? Y'all giving us the worst movies, y'all giving us reboots. Nobody asked for live actions. What do I look like wanting to see a live action Simba? Yo, chat, look at this. Look at this. You're looking at this shit and you're not bricked. But anyways, YouTube, that does include the video. Let me know what y'all thought about the Disney movies. What is your favorite Disney movie? Make sure you guys subscribe. Join us on Discord. All that good stuff, man. Waxer for life. Love y'all. And